Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for a, another episode of Unorthor Blocks on the Unorthor Blocks server, and we are today, once again, joined by this one, this cretin here. Hello. This is Nano, if you don't know already, a regular on the Nano. channel, uh, yeah. who me and him get along building very well, apart from when we tell each other our builds suck. But yeah. um, was it? In, it was in the last episode. Was it the last episode or was it the episode before? Episode before, we did this path leading up to the castle with Nano. So and you put out too much content. I do put out a lot of content, but it's fun. Can you stop planting trees for like one second? Absolutely not. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, well, we need somewhere for the path to lead, so we need to sort out this portal because at the minute it's looking kind of trash. If I do say so myself. So, we've got we've got a bit of an idea for the portal. We're going to create, like, sort of a cracked rift in the side of this mountain here. Uh, and make it all look natural and very, very nice. And then this is where the path's going to lead up to. We're sort of going to make a rugged, ancient sort of stone path that leads into the usual granity dirt path that goes through the plains. That sort of thing. But I doubt we'll get, probably get all that done today. We'll get oh, a fair not, no. chunk of stuff done today, though. So, first things first, we just need to, you know, tear out a bit of the mountain. And just sort of tear down the portal. And then get some building. For me and Nano, I've got this so far. It is a sort of like rift portal entrance in the side of a hill. And it looks it, is, yes. it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's going to be quite simple. It's going to be quite overgrown and like hidden. I'm tempted to almost build and actually a cave out over it and have a really small entrance to it. And I can hear my dogs barking, so that's going to be in the background of the recording. But we shall continue. Okay, so this area is nearing some sort of completion. We have added in a load of big Minecraft trees to sort of circle around, leaving a bit of a view out the front there. A crumbling stone staircase that goes under some trees where obviously this path will go in the future and yeah it looks pretty nice I like the fact it's all forested and stuff like that in the future I may come back and change it but for now it is just a pretty nice and simple looking uh, portal area that is really quite cool. Just something to make the portal seem a little bit, uh, a little bit more complete and not just temporary. So when we connect the uh, the path up, it should be really nice. But I'm really happy with how this has turned out. We need to move on to something else. So in today's episode, we are going to be once again continuing work on the castle. We're going to do a little bit more of uh, the area around the castle I think I don't know it's not solidified what I'm actually gonna be doing but for now I wanted to build up this wall here and there is that a zombie somewhere like where are you where is this zombie oh there like you're incredibly loud please refrain from ruining my recording anyway can we get out of this hole Please, thank you. Yes, we can, but we'll just put some stone there for now. Um, yeah, we're going to continue building up this wall just to sort of get an idea of how things are looking. And I might move the shulker boxes and then detail this little section here uh, before we move on to this tower at some point. Maybe this episode, maybe next episode, who knows. But obviously in the start of the episode, which was actually filmed like the day before yesterday, um, me and Nano built up my portal area. And I'm still not sold on it, because I really struggle with making portals. I really like the concept, I just think it can use some tweaking, maybe some custom trees, that sort of thing, some big custom trees. That's all for later down the line, but we could do with connecting the path up to the portal, the route's going to take, and bringing a path down there. So if we wanted to, we could start on some of the farms around the uh, base and stuff, and maybe start work on this sort of thing. But it's a load of like different projects we've got that we could be working on. But for now, we're going to build up the walls, so we need to take them up to about here, I think. And remember, what we're doing is every three blocks of uh, stone, we're adding in a stone brick pillar. Because it just adds a nice little bit of variation and support into the walls. Uh, that sort of thing. 
So now the wall is put in place and looking pretty nice. We have a better look at the front of our castle now. And obviously I haven't detailed this area here yet. Because I'm going to wait to do that until that tower goes in. Um, but yeah, it's looking nice. Having the section of wall in, making the castle look a bit more complete. But we're actually going to be stopping the castle for now. Because I want to start laying the groundworks for this underground port that I keep talking so much about. And I'm thinking that there could be multiple entrances to this port. So obviously there's the main entrance, which is going to be... Uh, not this one. This is one of the entrances you can have. As you can see, I've dug a little hole into it here. Um, as you can see, we're in the start of the underground area. And then another entrance can be obviously connecting off of this bit of river if we break in here. This river can also uh, connect in. So that can come in there, connect into this, and we can have a big lagoon in this space, which is absolutely huge. If we take all of this down to uh, that level down there, it's going to be dangerous because obviously there's going to be mobs everywhere, like there are at the minute. If we bring all of this down to right down the bottom, then it could be really nice, and we've just caused a load of zombies to attack us. Um, and have a big lagoon down the bottom, big stalagmites, stalactites, that sort of thing, a really nice big looking cave. Uh, and we need to get back in there. I don't really care about chopping holes in it too much because obviously we're going to come through and tear most of this lovely terraforming I already did down. But let's jump out of there. And yeah, we, we won't talk about uh, that there. Anyway, there is a third entrance we can actually have that I think could be also really cool. And it's from this river over here. And this river doesn't actually go into the side of the hill yet. But it could do. So... Obviously, we just need to channel this through here. And then, it, I believe, we can just mine through here. And, yeah, there you go. It's actually a bit of river in here already, if we have a look. But all those three things can basically uh, get diverted into a massive, massive uh, lagoon under there with a harbour in it. And if we go over back to one of the entrances over here, uh, this one maybe... And have a look over here. As you can see, the bits of the castle actually come down into this space. Which I'm going to leave. And then we're going to have big doors and stuff. And you, this is how you get into this area. Is through the basement levels of this castle. So on the way down, there'll be dungeons and stuff. And then a big cellar. And there'll be loads of barrels, some ships in here. That sort of thing. What we need to do is create big arched open areas. So we can have the ships come in and out. Uh, and have some rocks, like, not some rocks, some stalagmite, stalactites. Basically make some uh, stone archways in here that are sort of natural cave entrances, I, I think we should do. Or should we do uh, built-up ones? I don't know. We'll, we'll give a couple a try. But they've got to be relatively big. So I'm thinking we have one sort of diagonally in the hill there. So right there would be nice. And then that would look pretty cool from over here having an entrance in there and we do the same thing over here but not a diagonal one uh, just a normal arch in this side of the hill here so if we were to say like uh, chop all if I can get my shovel chop all this out to like you see what I'm saying like a nice big archway obviously bigger than that so we can fit a boat through it a small boat because uh, all these boats can be like small barges and stuff so they can get up and down the river. But just a cool way to bring in goods to the uh, to the um, castle, obviously. And then over here on this side, we've got this river coming in here. And then that'll probably be a nice big cavern entrance in that corner there. Uh, let me get a slower view of that so you can see that better. But yeah, uh, an entrance there in that corner there could be really nice and cool. So that is the plan. That is what we're going to get working on. So I'm going to, yeah, just get a bit, dig bit of digging done and work out whether I want to make these man-made or like cave-like entrances. So this is what I have come up with and I like it. I really do. It could use some bushes and vines and that sort of thing, some vegetation around of it. But the general idea and concept I am liking. 
it is looking pretty nice for what I think we should do. So I think we will go for the natural arch variant rather than the uh, big, of course, big man-made arch. But uh, do remember that this is all going to be dug back into a giant lagoon, which could be quite cool. Obviously, this bit isn't this because it's going to be tunneled over all the way until we get to about here where it's going to open up into a big lagoon. So that should be pretty cool. That's going to be a massive project though. So that's going to be definitely a multi-episode project. We're not going to get that done today. In fact, I think all we're going to get done today is getting the other two arches in for the entrances into the underground section. But I really like this uh, so far. So I think I'm going to toy around with throwing some uh, leaves and vines, uh, some overgrowth on it. But as for the entrance it's looking really nice so i just thought whilst i was over here in the shopping area getting myself some vines from a nearby jungle tree that i knew was around here i checked my shops and lo and behold we've sold out of andesite so we're definitely going to need to stock that back up but yeah i'm using a lot of andesite at the minute myself obviously doing the castle so <laughs> Getting andesite may have to be put on the back foot right now, but the reason why I'm running around right here is this, andesite, good. I could put one stack back in there because I've got a stack of andesite on me as coincidence goes, so I just needed one more because we had 63, but we will whack one stack of andesite into the shop and hope that people don't buy it too quick and people are satisfied with just one stack but five diamonds is a pretty good profit yes that's looking super super nice with all this vegetation i added in uh some obviously some leaves some vines and some of our red flowers and red berry bushes and it is looking super nice like, that's exactly the sort of uh color palette i was going for i think to be fair if we kit out this entire hillside with these uh, bone meal, the red flowers, that sort of thing, uh, red berry bushes, it could end up looking really nice. And that might be a thing we do in the next couple episodes and have some custom trees and stuff. But the next thing to do is obviously do the next cave entrance there. That is cave entrance number two pretty much done. All of these cave entrances, by the way, will... Uh, well, I say will. Um, they may get changed, they may not, depending on how we build up the surrounding area. But for now, it's looking pretty nice. Obviously, it's not going to look perfect, none of them are. Um, just because the whole area is going to change, so uh, we're going to have details. But there's one, obviously, there that we just did, and then this one, which is brand new here. And it's looking pretty cool. They're quite small, but it's only supposed to smith, uh, fit small boats through. So that's fine. And when this area in the plains obviously gets all turned into farmland and stuff, they will probably be hardly noticeable, but they're just a cool way in and out of the underground harbor area. And I've toyed with getting the grass grown up a bit further up the hill and it's looking really cool. So we're definitely gonna have to come back and grow up the entire hillside with bone meal. But as for now, we are gonna jump over to the final side of the base and work on the cave entrance for over here okay so i've changed my mind i went ahead and bone mealed up a bit more of the cliffside and also these yellow flowers have to go one color only that is my uh landscaping rule and i'm gonna go for red like i usually do because there's a lot of option but we've got some of uh, these uh red poppies all about i'm gonna put some more of these red berry bushes up and around but as for bone meal it looks quite nice uh, lovely and grown there you can obviously do it all the way around but for now just that little section is looking nice but the reason why we are not going to do this is as you can see it requires a chunk of terraforming I'm actually running out of time for this episode and it requires this bit to be cleared out as well because um, as you can see it's not ideal for putting a cave entrance in there yet so we're gonna put that on hold and just be satisfied with the two that we've done we, I apologize this episode, we haven't actually got uh, a lot done in the way of big projects. It's just been um, more of a more of a sort of odds and ends video. So we did the portal, which needed doing, and we did these cave entrances, that sort of thing. We did the wall, 
Uh, little tidbits that needed doing, which uh, weren't really going to get done otherwise. So I thought I'd make an episode out of just going around, uh, making sure everything was uh, caught up to speed. Everything was pretty well done in the way of getting things moving in this Minecraft playthrough castle project. But yeah, we are just going to go through adding in some more bone meal between episodes. And when there is a particular bit that is incredibly green, we'll just break a few, uh, put some berries down, grab up our berries off of there. There we go, grow them back and have a look at how that looks. Yeah, adding in some berries up and around there should be really nice. I think one right here will do very nicely. But yeah, that is all I have actually got time for in today's episode. I'm trying to make these episodes a little bit shorter to sort of trial how they uh, perform as compared to my longer videos. But don't worry, we're still getting a decent amount done each episode. It just means you may get a few more episodes than you would when I was just making them all the uh, longer length so we get more done in them. So please tell me in the comments which you prefer, the style of doing them uh, shorter but more often or longer and less often. It's up to you. Really, it's obviously my channel. I can do what I want. But at the end of the day, I want to please the viewers. So do let me know. But yeah, This is also the second video where we've decided to put in background music. Uh, the second unorthodox video rather, as I have started a new series off on the 1.12.2 mod pack. Uh, which I highly recommend you actually go check out because it's been a huge amount of fun uh, recording. I definitely want to play more of it. But yeah, that is looking really nice with bone meal up the sides of the bank there. And once that's a big cavern in there, that should be really cool. But that's yeah, that's looking nice. It's tying the castle more into the landscape. Yes, I like it. But anyway, thank you guys. So much for watching this episode of Minecraft Unauthor Blocks Survival Multiplayer. I have been Toby. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And make sure that you go and check out that new series on the 1.12.2 pack. Uh, otherwise, I will catch you in the next episode where we continue our castle project.